The Green Bay Botanical Garden is in bloom. Angela Kelly joins us live with a look at all the beautiful flowers. Good morning, Ange. Hi, Rachel. It is so beautiful out here. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. You have about 250,000 daffodils and tulips in bloom, uh, different sorts of uh, grasses and other plants. I saw some phlox in bloom back there. Phlox is my favorite. Now is really the time to come out here and see all the, the spring bloomers out here at the Green Bay Botanical Garden. But because it's Earth Week, we wanted to give you some eco-friendly gardening tips. And we've got Kelly Hartman here to help us with more on that. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, so we talked about regular composting earlier. What is this? Vermicomposting uses worms to help break down all of the food scraps and items that you put in here. Um, and it's a great way to continue composting during the winter, mm -hmm. where in Wisconsin, your outdoor compost bin might slow down. This can be done in your basement. So can you tell me how I would do it? Yeah, you can buy the pre-made bins again, or make your own container out of a, a like a Rubbermaid box or something like that. Um, and really, all you need is some shredded paper that's kept a little bit moist. That's sort of the bedding for the worms. And then right in there, you can put your banana peels and apple cores or coffee grounds and eggshells. And the compost creatures, we've got some um, sow bugs in here in addition to the worms, but they Where help. do you get those from? Well, they are special compost worms, or they're known as red wigglers. Um, oh, there they are. Yeah, and Ooh. they can be purchased at bait shops or online as compost worms. Okay. And they actually eat the material and their droppings, otherwise known as worm castings, are the, the compost or the fertilizer that you can then add to your, your plants. Okay, so then tell me where this tea part comes in. Right, well the liquid portion of the, the droppings or the waste um, otherwise known as worm tea or compost tea, works as a great fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, often used on indoor plants. Okay. So go ahead and... But we could put some out here, yeah, right? Yeah, we can use it on the outdoor plants as well. Fantastic. You know, if you ever have any questions about this stuff, uh, the folks out here are, are great. I mean, you got lots of experts out here on composting and eco-friendly gardening. And uh, you know what? I just want them to tell me how to make my yard look like this. That's all I want in life. They have a lot of experts it's, to do all that work. They do. A lot it's of volunteers beautiful. put in a lot of time. Yeah. It is gorgeous, though. Thanks, Ange. It's 728. Let's check in with Pete outside on our weather deck, where it's always gorgeous, too, right? It's just unbelievable. Birds are chirping. You never know they're going to get...